Hey guys, this will be a video talking about the character Shula from Arc 6 of the ReZero Light Novel, so it will contain some spoilers, so keep that in mind. Anyways, enjoy the video. One of the things I aim to do on this channel is to look at the ReZero theory iceberg and go through the theories and debunk them or confirm them. One example of one of my theories is the Subaru is not pride theory, which I've spoken about. I've also briefly mentioned the Elsa ancestor theory which is in my Elsa video. This episode is going to be based on Shola and whether or not she's a witch beast. So for those of you who are unaware, witch beasts or mebeasts are things which were created by the Witch of Gluttony. The people of the ReZero world believes that Satella, the Witch of Envy, has created them, but we know that it was actually Daphne, the Witch of Gluttony, that created all of the mebeasts in order to feed the people of the world. So where does this actually come from? Well, it's due to the fact that Shola herself, whilst looking like a human, can actually transform into a scorpion, which has a mebeast or witch beast-like property. So what do I mean by this? Shola states that she can smell the witch scent on Subaru, stating that it smells disgusting. We also know that mebeasts will attack someone who has the witch's scent, such as in Arc 3 when Subaru allows the Mabeasts to attack Beetlejuice's finger. In Arc 6, Chapter 72, during Count 7, it states that the Witch Beast's aim was Subaru and that the Titanic Scorpion, which is Shola, is perhaps the same, showing that they're most likely both aiming for Subaru due to his scent. Now keep in mind, whilst Gluttony might have a Witch scent around him because he does have the Witch Factor and Authority of Gluttony, the Mabeasts won't actually attack him. We also know from Shula that she was created by Mother and Master. Now keep in mind, Master is referring to Flugel and Mother is referring to Daphne in this case. Assuming that Shula is a Mabeast, then Daphne would have created her. Shula also seemingly confirms that she isn't really human considering that she states that she hasn't changed since the day she was born. Now do keep in mind this line has been removed from the light novel translation but I'm just including this here for further evidence. We also know that Shula is not a spirit because when she dies she leaves a body behind so she can't be a spirit so mother in this case doesn't refer to Echidna for example. Now the most interesting thing happened during the season 2 episode 9 airing where Tappy stated that Daphne made one off Mabeast and he gave some examples as the white whale, rabbit, black snake, and red scorpion. Now the correct translation for red scorpion is actually crimson scorpion. Now that's really interesting, because is there any other scorpions you know in ReZero? Because I can only think of one scorpion. Now of course there is a bit of confusion here, because Shola is black, and she's always described as having a jet black shell. However, her eyes and her stinger blast do have a red crimson hue to them. What adds even more credibility to this theory is in the question and answers 21 about Daphne and the beasts, where someone did actually ask, are there any beasts that can be turned human or become human? And Tape literally says, there are, but, and he stops there. If Shula was a Mabeast, this would also explain why she can also eat other Mabeast meat, which is said to be extremely inedible, and if you were to eat it, you would throw up. And it could be why Beatrice actually calls the Scorpion a Witch Beast, but she could be wrong of course. Maybe all of this information can explain why Shula is so strong, but I'll leave that decision up to you guys on whether or not Shula is actually a Mabeast. So it's up to you guys to take all the evidence I've assembled here and come to your own conclusion. And let me know what you think, anyway. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, so I'm going to show you my ending screen right now. And I'll see you guys next time.